Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate this Mass in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and we ask, we ask her maternal intercession and prayers, so that like her, we may be faithful disciples of Jesus. Let us now prepare ourselves to partake of the mysteries of God's love. Let us call to mind our sins and entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, O merciful God, protection in our weakness, that we who keep the memorial of the Holy Mother of God may, with the help of her intercession, rise up from our iniquities. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the second book of Samuel. David returned from his defeat of the Amalekites and spent two days in Ziklag. On the third day, a man came from Saul's camp with his clothes torn and dirt on his head. 
Going to David, he fell to the ground in homage. David asked him, Where do you come from? He replied, I have escaped from the camp of the children of Israel. Tell me what happened, David bade him. He answered that many of the soldiers had fled the battle and that many of them had fallen and were dead. Among them, Saul and his son, Jonathan. David seized his garments and rent them, and all the men who were with him did likewise. They mourned and wept and fasted until evening for Saul and his son Jonathan, and for the soldiers of the Lord of the clans of Israel, because they had fallen by the sword. Alas, the glory of Israel, Saul, slain upon your heights. How can the warriors have fallen? Saul and Jonathan, beloved and cherished, separated neither in life nor in death, swifter than eagles, stronger than lions. Women of Israel, weep over Saul, who cloth you in scarlet and finery, who deck your attire with ornaments of gold. How can the warriors have fallen in the thick of the battle, slain upon your heights? I grieve for you, Jonathan, my brother. Most dear have you been to me. More precious have I held love for you than love for women. How can the warriors have fallen? The weapons of war have perished. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us see your face, Lord and we shall be saved. Let us see your face, Lord, and we shall be saved. O shepherd of Israel, hearken, O guide of the flock of Joseph, from your throne upon the cherubim, shine forth before Ephraim, Benjamin, and Manasseh. Rouse your power and come to save us. Let us see your face, Lord, and we shall be saved. O Lord of hosts, how long will you burn with anger while your people pray? You have fed them with the bread of tears and given them tears to drink in ample measure. You have left us to be fought over by our neighbors and our enemies mock us. Let us see your face, Lord, and we shall be saved. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus came with his disciples into the house. Again the crowd gathered, making it impossible for them even to eat. When his relatives heard of this, they set out to seize him, for they said, He is out of his mind. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, in our short gospel today, the relatives of Jesus accused him 
of being out of his mind. And this they said, not only because Jesus seems not to be taking care of himself, because according to our gospel, Jesus was not eating because he was attending to the crowd. But the relatives of Jesus thought that he is out of his mind because of the way of life Jesus has been living, because of the company he keeps, because of the things that he says. Instead of getting a wife and settling down, Jesus remains unmarried and moves from one place to the other as an itinerant teacher. Instead of choosing men who have similar traits and attitudes and backgrounds, Jesus chose disciples who have different beliefs, who came from different backgrounds, who in one way or the other are different from each other. And the things that Jesus says, people found ridiculous. And so he must be out of his mind. Hangal na yata si Jesus. Kaya gusto na lamang siyang kunin ng kanyang mga kamag-anak siguro para itago na lang. In our first reading today, David could also be accused of being a fool. In our first reading, David grieves as he received the news of the death of King Saul and his son, Jonathan. Now, we could well understand the sorrow of, of David at the death of Jonathan because David and Jonathan are very good friends and it is just natural to grieve at the death of a good friend. But Saul, who repeatedly tried to kill David, it is unnatural to feel grief. David could have felt relief. He could be happy because finally his enemy is gone. But despite the bad things that Saul did to David, David grieves at the death of Saul. And he even honors the king, Saul. He remembers Saul not as an enemy, but as a great king and a great warrior. Now that is not natural. Kapag kaaway mo ang namatay, kahit papaano meron kang lihim na galak na nararamdaman, sa wakas, wala na siya. But we heard, we did not hear that from David. He too must be out of his mind. My dear brothers and sisters, have you ever been accused of being a fool because of your faith in God? Have you ever been judged as out of your mind because of the things that you say and the things that you do according to the teachings of God? When instead of taking revenge, you would rather forgive when instead of hating your enemy, you would rather love and pray for them. 
When instead of thinking first of yourself, you forget yourself and you think first of others. When instead of pursuing your self-interest, you let go of your interests and you pursue what is good for others. When instead of just giving up, you continue to be faithful and you persevere. When instead of speaking lies in order to gain acceptance, you insist on speaking the truth even if you are persecuted, then you must be a fool. You must be out of your mind. At sa mundo natin ngayon, na tila baga nabaliktad na, kapag gumagawa ng masama, mas pinapalakpakan, mas sumisikat at hinahangaan, at yung mga gumagawa ng kabutihan, ang tingin ay hangal. Kapag tayo'y sumusunod kay Jesus, talagang magiging hangal ang tingin sa atin ng mundo. St. Paul, in his first letter to the Corinthians, said, We are fools for Christ. And so, if people accuse you of being a fool because of your faith, the good news is you are not alone because Jesus himself was thought as a fool by his own relatives. David acted foolishly. Many of the saints are thought to be foolish. And so if people accuse you of being a fool because of your faith, then do not get offended. Just rejoice. Be glad because you are in good company. Please all stand. Let us pray to the Father in heaven that we may learn from His Son, Jesus Christ, what it means to serve. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That we as a church may go out of our own worlds to serve others with self-effacing love, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those in public office may give the best of themselves in serving the people instead of seeking their personal gain. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may show gratitude to those who render service to us in various ways. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That like Mary, we may be attentive to the needs of others instead of being too much concerned with our selfish ends. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick and the elderly may find respect and attention from their families. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the people who need our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. Lord our God, it is not easy for us to help others when it is inconvenient to do so. May we learn from Jesus to be available to anyone who seeks help, and may you give us the strength to do so. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Please all stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for the good and the good of all His Holy Church. As we honor the memory of the mother of your son, we pray, O Lord, that the oblation of this sacrifice may by your grace make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to the ends of the earth, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please all stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is Yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be Thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come. come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. <clears throat> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am, I am not, not worthy, worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say, say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Having been made partakers of eternal redemption, we pray, O Lord, that we who commemorate the mother of your Son may glory in the fullness of your grace and experience its continued increase for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Amen.